Hi, everyone. My name is Charlotte Andor of Rosalita's Puppets, and this is your average washing up liquid bottle. It's one of those that has the squishy plungery thing that go, um, and I used、uh, the tubing on that plungery thing for those arms. You can see I made two holes. I threaded the ribbon through, and then I threaded the ribbon through the tubing. And thus, I got the arms. And now here's the head. The head is attached to a piece of rolled-up paper. It's not any old paper. It's、um, magazine cover that has a little bit more stiffness. And inside the magazine cover is also a chopstick, giving this a nice size and strength.、Um, because I didn't have access to a nice thick dowel. I、uh, paper clayed the face, but it's not solid paper clay because that would be too expensive. Inside it is foil. You can see the arms moving around. The ribbon is attached with a safety pin. It could be sewn on, and、uh, it's going through a hole of that black thing, which is an umbrella spoke.、Um, so eventually, you just sew on the ribbon to the umbrella spoke, and voila, you move it. Now here is that same、uh, puppet painted with the paper clay painted. You can see though,、um, because it's a, one of these kind of simple rod puppets with that stiff body, you can make the head go up and down for a special effect, and your hand can go inside. That's where that is where I'm going to costume the character. You can see I still haven't yet cut the tubing so that the arm doesn't really flex where the elbow would. If I cut the tubing there but leave it threaded over the ribbon, then it'll bend really nicely and be able to have a kind of life of its own. Voila! Here's it with its hair. Enjoy.